In our day-to-day -day life, we are surrounded by many types of non-Newtonian fluids. So in this video, we have tried to categorize them in pseudoplastic fluids, dilatant fluids and Bingham plastic and how they are different from each other. In this graphical representation, in Bingham plastic requires a finite yield stress before it begins to flow. In dilatant fluid, viscosity increases as stress is applied. And in case of pseudoplastic fluids, in this type of fluids, viscosity decreases with increasing shear rate. Now we have taken two bowels. One is filled with normal water and in another bowel we are mixing cornstarch with water and after mixing it for 2 minutes we get this thick mixture. Now if we tap the plain water with spoon it is getting spread. But in another bowel, if we tap it with the same force, it is not getting spread because when the force is applied, the viscosity is increasing. So that's why it is not getting spread by the applied force. This is an example of Bingham plastic. We can clearly see if we put the bottle upside down, the ketchup is not coming out. But if we provide vigorous force, it is coming out of the bottle. Bingham plastic is a viscoplastic material. It behaves as a rigid body at lower stress, but flows as a viscous fluid at high temperature. In this experiment, we have taken two syringes. In one syringe, it is filled with normal water and in another one is filled with paint. If we apply a same force in the syringe filled with water, we can see it is coming out drop by drop. But when we push the syringe filled with paint with the same force, we can see there is a laminar flow of the fluid in coming out.